Good morning, folks. Got a look at the sun, several articles in the journals, and I hope you caught last night's special video. Meant a lot over here, and according to the comments, meant a lot to a lot of you as well. We are starting with our star, and we've had only minor C-class solar flares again the last day. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm. The sunspots are crackling but lack the complexity to fire bigger flare events and major CMEs, instead performing minor plasma pushes in the corona with the odd minor ejection here and there. Prettiest moment on the sun the last day was a small flare and jet light plasma ejection off the departing southern sunspot group. We're off to tree rings where we are seeing the negative impact of solar storms on the 11-year cycle tree growth. While centennial scale irradiance variations appear directly correlated with better arboreal development, the small 11-year sunspot cycle seems to show a struggle at low latitudes under the increased power conditions from the sun at sunspot maximum. Their guess is UVB spikes challenge the growth. Up next is two on New Zealand. First one here confirming, once again, it's one of the most geomagnetically vulnerable places on Earth, if not the most. In significant storm conditions, the entire island nation shows vulnerability, with up to 35% of the transformers potentially being breakpoints for the system. A similar risk exists in their pipeline network, where several instances of vulnerability well beyond the cathode protection system exist. They found that at any point in the system, it can react to the total electric field impact on the entire system. Paper here looking for geomagnetic storm periodicities and of course finding the 11 year sunspot cycle, but also that 5.9 month semi-annual cycle and solid double and quadruple harmonics at the annual and biannual levels as well. Remember the next such semi-annual uptick is due in the first quarter of 2023, next chance for significant solar activity. Folks, if you didn't catch last night's video, most commenters are appearing to be loving it. Link is below or find it on our channel homepage. If you are in the springs and have little ones, come out to Cat's children's book reading at Play Street Museum today. Link to the event is also found below the video in the description box. The Observer Ranch Uranus trailer will be out there as well. And a reminder, we've got our holiday raffle ticket available at the Shopify store, over 250 worth of merchandise and a one-on-one -on -one call to the winner drawing will be on the 13th. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to everything you need are below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.